Hi there, this is Felix Trufeshu from Carnegie Mellon University. In this talk, I'm going to introduce our work on local binary convolution neural networks. This is a joint work with Vishnu Naresh Boditi from Michigan State and Mario Savitas from CMU. CNNs are overwhelmingly powerful with abundant training data and abundant computation resources. Then what about training CNN models on the resource constrained environments? resource being data or computational resources. In this paper, we propose local binary convolution neural networks, which aims at number one, statistical efficiency, with significant parameter savings and the ability to learn from much fewer training samples. Number two, computation efficiency, primarily due to sparse binary convolutions. And number three, with performance comparable to standard CNNs. The new LBC layer is inspired by the local binary patterns. There are several parameter settings that lead to different LBP configurations, such as the choices of base and pivot and the ordering of the encoding neighbors. We will generalize these factors in a learnable framework for LBCNN. LBP operation is naturally convolutional. Step one, is to compute the difference between the pivot and the neighboring pixels, which is convolution with binary filters. Step two, the bitmap thresholding is equivalent to a nonlinear activation. Step three, the weighted sum of the bitmaps can also be considered as a convolution operation. In the standard CNN layer, the input volume is convolved with learnable real valued convolutional filters and then go through a nonlinearity. In LBCNN, the input volume is convolved with fixed, sparse, predefined binary convolutional filters that are not learned, followed by a nonlinearity. We will then invoke learnable one-by-one -one convolutional filters for combining the various bitmaps as the final feature map ready for the next layer. The fixed LBC filters are stochastically generated with sparse binary weights. The convolution can be extremely efficient by addition and subtraction operations. We have shown theoretically that the proposed LBC CNN layer is a good approximation of the standard CNN layer. This is also empirically verified. The small scale experiments are carried out on MNIST SVHN and CIFAR-10. The performance of ResNet with LBC layers is on par with the state of the art. Moreover, with significant parameter savings, we're able to train LBCNM with over 8,000 layers on a single Titan X. If we share the same dictionary of LBC filters across all layers, we can have further default saving in model size where D is the depth of the network. Our experiments demonstrated a negligible difference in performance between LBCNN with and without shared filters. Empirically, we have observed that LBCNN has the following properties. Number one, it can be trained on much smaller size data set without overfitting due to much smaller model complexity. Number two, it converges faster than standard CNNs via our observations on many visual data sets. Finally, our large scale experiments are carried out on ImageNet dataset, where we observe that AlexNet with LBC layers performs as well as AlexNet with standard CNN layers while having 6.6x fewer learnable parameters. To conclude, the LBCNN provides an excellent trade-off between real valued standard CNNs and a purely binary CNNs. For more information, please check out the website. Thank you.